So here we have uh, the Endless uh, Computer. So who are you? So I am the founder of um, Endless Computers. We make computers for emerging markets. It's a $79 fully functioning consumer PC. It works with and without the internet. In other words, it works on any kind of connectivity, whatever people have, because we put almost an internet inside. Wikipedia, Khan Academy, health information, recipes, anything that somebody in an emerging market might need to make their life more empowered, we have built into here. The idea is that four and a half billion people don't have computers, that is crazy. They should be able to have it, and we've made it so they can afford it. So uh, this looks nice, what's going on here? So this is the operating system. We have about 75 people on the team, three work on the hardware, the rest work on the software, design, research, and development, and you're seeing our operating system inside so of it. So it, uh, it, what is it based on, how does it work? It's based on a GNOME, uh, we've basically taken GNOME, which is built for engineers, and we've taken it and made it extremely simple. So it works just like a smartphone, it's as easy as a smartphone, it's app based. So it's a simplified uh, Linux UI? Simplified in every way. So it's got an app store built into it. We have also then a series of applications where I can come and say, you know, I want to go learn about Las Vegas and inside of here uh, with and without the internet. So I don't have internet right now, right? I can come down here and show you the internet is off and yet I can still go learn about the hospitality industry or whatever else it is, barriers to entry in computers. So you can preload it with a whole bunch of um, Wikipedia stuff and that, some other apps? That's it, there's a whole ecosystem. There's a health application, a recipes application, a micro-entrepreneurship application, all localized both by language and by geography. So, uh, what's the story of Endless? When do you start and uh, where's it going? So Endless has been in development for about four years. Building a consumer-grade PC on an ARM processor is not an easy thing and we have done it. It's taken us four years to make that happen. It's an incredible computer. We are launching uh, in Latin America as we speak with the largest carrier. Uh, so America Mobile, which is the largest carrier in Latin America, has just launched us in Guatemala and is now going to be expanding us elsewhere. Uh, and we have some other very exciting news coming in 2015, 2016. So we're right here next to the ARM booth, and you're talking about this being an ARM PC. This is an ARM PC. The what ARM has. The uh, so this is an AM Logic. Um, yeah, you have the specs right here, sorry. Yeah, the specs. Yeah, the specs here. Uh, so, Logic CPU, 1.5 gigahertz, um, and we have a, a one gigabyte of RAM version, we have a two gigabyte of RAM version, we have one with uh, 24 gigabytes of storage, another with 32 gigabytes of storage. In addition, Endless has already launched a product with 500 gigabytes of storage with an Intel processor, so we have the idea is basically wherever you want. You want more power, you want more affordable, we have the product for you. So there's an Intel version, for example, it's over there? The Intel version is over here. And, uh, but this basically shows that, that uh, it doesn't really matter uh, x86 ARM, it works? It works either way, it's the same computer. Same computer? But it's more expensive, this one? Or? This one's more expensive. So this one is priced, we have the 500 gigabyte model at $229. So you get from $229 all the way down to $79. So at $79 you get 1 gigabyte of RAM? What do you at get? $79 you get 1 gigabyte of RAM and 24 gigabytes of storage. We have a $99 version, same processor. The only difference is our 2 gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Can we look at the UI a little bit more? And yeah. so what's the plan? When uh, are you shipping? Um, so we begin shipping immediately. We're going to start shipping in Latin America online immediately uh, at EndlessM.com. So anyone who wants one can buy one at EndlessM.com. Uh, it's good for you know for somebody who wants something simple, and it's good for somebody who doesn't have quality internet access, whether that's because the person is, lives in a rural environment um, or, or, or... So what happened with more apps? So right here, it's just an app store. You click on that, and we have all sorts of applications built into it. I can come adding a game. Here's a 500 megabyte game. It's as simple as clicking add to the desktop. And I've got my game. All right. It looks really smooth. Here. I can say I want my you know, health application. A health application with the right information is an incredibly important thing, of course, right? If I get a burn, if I have, uh, you know, if I've hurt myself, I can come in here. So, okay, first aid. Here's a burn. What do I do to address my burn? All of these things are things we take for granted in the era of the internet. I can just Google it, right? Yeah. What happens if you don't have Google? The answer is normally you don't have an answer. And we've created a solution. All right. So you have a bunch of ports in the back, yeah, right here. Two USB ports in the back, one in the front. Yeah. And uh, you have video output, analog, and digital output. Yeah, we have. Both. 
uh, HDMI and composite, the idea is that people already have televisions at home, so if they can't afford an additional monitor, also not a problem. They can just basically take it and immediately, you know, say, plug it into whatever TV I have, and so for $79 plus a mouse and a keyboard, which are everywhere, they're all freely available, and we usually bundle it so that people want to buy the mouse and keyboard, there it is, um, they can have a computer. And if it's super smooth and super popular, you can... Uh get all kinds of future ARM processors and put them in also, make different versions. So that, that's, you, right now you have Amlogic S805, right? That's the idea. We are, we are an operating system company. Yeah. More important than anything is, is the software that we've built. Whether you put it on Intel, whether you put it on ARM, they're all the same thing, right? The idea is basically just make computing accessible to as many people as possible. For some people, it's price that's the issue. For some people, it's connectivity that's the issue. And we've solved them both. So I'm the Chief Growth Officer and Co-Founder of Endless. Uh, so what's the vision? So the vision for us is we have all this nice hardware here. So we have been making computers uh, for exactly people without computers and some layers above that. Uh, computers different than smartphones and phones. Phones went from zero to everybody. Uh, so the revolution really got the whole world. Computers, the big revolution of computers, got from zero to two billion people and stopped. What happened? So if you really study what happened and really understand the problems, they're super solvable. You can fix that. And if you fix that, you can really empower three billion people to have computers. So what, the reason it stops is because of power consumption, uh, price, So so so, so, so it, it, it is somewhat like uh, a sum of things. So price is definitely one. So if you go to India today, you can buy a smartphone for $35. You cannot do that with a computer. Uh, price is definitely one. It's not the most important one, but it's definitely one. Second one, most important, internet. The vast majority of the world either has no internet or has very spotty connections, bad internet. A computer without internet today, you can do nothing. Absolutely nothing. You can play solitaire, you can open maybe an office, but you can do practically nothing. Uh, we made an experience where, you know, like, if you're connected, it's great. If you're not connected, it's also great. So, let me show you here. So, let me disconnect here. Yeah. Actually, we are disconnected now. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, even without the internet, there's still a whole bunch of things that can work. Okay. So, let, let me give you an example. Wikipedia is here. Yeah. So, we just preloaded all the Wikipedia content in the hard drive, or at least in like the, the most accessed websites. So if you put here, I don't know, uh, you said that you are from Switzerland. So oh, I'm writing wrong. So this is here. And this is in the hard drive of the computer. Right? Very good. So let me give you another example. Um, so for instance, Ken Academy. Ken Academy is super well known yeah. uh, for its video, its videos, right? All in the hard drive of the computer. So you have like literally a virtual school. You know, like you want to know something about cryptography? Okay, let's see an introduction of cryptography. It's here. You have a very offline nice video. videos. Offline videos. How cool is that? So now you give an education to people that not necessarily have a great education. It's awesome, and that's easy, right? So now you have to get this into uh, millions of people, and this is what you're working on. Billions of people. Billions. Billions of people. Awesome. So, 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 honestly, you know, like, um, if you take a look, uh, the best proxy we have in the industry is what Google did with Android. What is Android? Android, it's really a consumer product, right? It's an OS that is made for consumers, real consumers. It is open source. It is free, the right model, right? So because Google did that, it empowered, it enabled a whole industry. Honestly, you know, like, thank you Steve Jobs for making the iPhone and showing what a smartphone should look like. But honestly, who did that was Google, right? That did not happen for computers, yeah. right? So Windows, which is like 90% of the market, two billion people. Which is like the 90s technology. 90s technologies, right? Um, so what, what's going on here with the, how many apps are working? How many so apps do you have? We have like a preloaded uh, 150 of the most desired apps for the target market we're going after. What kind of apps are they? Uh, like from the Linux uh, in, in so, ecosystem? Or so where? we run Linux, uh, the kernel is Linux, 
and we rebuilt all the presentation layer. So uh, pretty much any Linux uh, application can work any on this. Any Linux apps? Yes. All the the uh, packages from all these different Linux can just work. So what, ah, what so. we do is that we preload them to actually, you know, like uh, make sure the experience is great, right? Because remember that our users they are not tech savvy, right? So we make this to be a great experience. So pretty much. We have them compressed in the hard drive, and then you have an app store that if you want to sell, you install it, you just go and install it. Right, so let, let us install, like, I don't know, let's see here, uh, a game. Let's install, for instance, Blackout. All right. Just installed an app. Blackout is here. So, so that is the thing, you know, like, this really is simple, right? Look, this is a, a very interesting game from 20 years ago. And yet, it's your great game. So the point is, for a person without computer, you have no idea how much information, uh, what a computer can do with a life. We're too used to that. If you go to the rest of the world, you have like three billion people who could buy a computer if it was the right price and if it was the right product. So that's what we do. There it is.